So, during the cleanup of the explosives video, or whatever I called it, um, link in the description for that. I haven't made a title yet. Um, like I said, this is during the cleanup of that video. During the cleanup of that video, I found out something a little bit interesting about the um, poppers. The little ones, not the big ones. So I took some of them apart to see what actually makes them tick. Obviously, I'm not going to take apart the other ones for obvious reasons. I like my fingers how they are. But these... What would you think would be inside of these? Some of you already know the answer to this. Others might not. Even though a 10 second Google search can probably tell you more information than this video. So, oh my god, this one's actually kind of difficult to open. One second. So what do you think is inside of here? Explosives, um, maybe some type of flammable thing? Nope, it's literally just rocks. It's not explosive rocks, it's not flammable rocks, it's not volatile rocks, it's just rocks. Like, straight up, straight up rocks. Like, here, I'll put them in a pile over here. Yeah, just rocks. All right, so. With that being said, that it's literally just paper and rocks, that's how they make them so cheap. That's why you can buy a pack of 30 of these for like, what, 33 cents? I know I got these for three, four dollars, and that's probably overpriced considering it's just rocks and paper. So, the way that these work is, the friction of this creates, I guess, a mini fireball that burns the paper, which is a flammable object, which creates the explosion, actually. If we look at the yellow one I just popped right here, you can kind of see the burnt paper. There's still rocks inside. Maybe there has something to do with the trapped air inside or something like that, I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, it just burns. Cool, so. That being said, let's actually get on to what I was trying to show you. So, let's say that you don't like these, right? Like, they're too weak for your taste, but you also don't want to have the risk of blowing your fingers off. Completely understandable, I get it. You want something in between. So what you can do is, since these are literally rocks and probably not dangerous, keyword probably, what you can do is you can open one of these up, right, and add more rocks to it. Just as simple as that. If you don't want to grab tiny little pebbles and put them in one by one, because that is pretty tedious, you can just take two and mix them together. One second as I attempt to open this. Okay, there we go. And it's opened, and then we're just going to pour this right inside of there. Keep in mind, you cannot tear the paper for this. This is a very important step. Do not tear the paper, because if you tear the paper, then I guess air can escape or whatever, and it won't work. Now, once you tie this up, you can pop this. That was a weak pop, because I accidentally teared the paper a little. So, that's the basic principle of it. One second. Whew, here we go. We rip open this one, we untie this one. Actually, I'm gonna have to find one that's already a little bit loose, like this one, for example. I found the best way to do it is just pull on this top thing, and that's just... Dang it, I ripped it a little. Dang, dang, that sucks, okay. Let's try again. So you pull on this, which opens this up, which you can then just open up like that, gently, so it doesn't rip. There we go. Like that and you just pour the other rocks inside. Now, why would you go through the trouble of doing this just to get an extra pop? I don't know if you're doing this actually, like if you're following these steps. You're probably wasting your time. But like I said, it does make a louder pop, slightly louder, but a louder pop nonetheless. With this being said, I guess you could try to make your DIY your own version of these. And also, I guess, if you are very determined, like, ridiculously determined, you can technically partially reuse these somehow. Like, if you were to put more rocks inside, and then close it back up. By the way, this is one that's already been used, which is why it was wide open. I guess, maybe, possibly. 
No, you can't reuse it. Never mind. Maybe if I throw it hard enough. Oh, you can reuse it. So I guess if you're determined enough, you can reuse these. I don't know why you would go through the trouble of putting tiny pebbles into paper just to have a little tiny pop, but if you want that knowledge, you had it. All right, watch out for them creepers. Stay away from love and keep your diamonds close to you. My TV is currently broken, which is why I'm making all of these weird videos. And to wait, I'm gonna send you guys off with a dynamite explosion. Please tell me I'm not out. Am I out? Never mind, I'm not sending you guys off with a dynamite, dy dynamite explosion because I'm out of that stuff. So, instead I'll just open this pack right here and drop the entire, the entire pack of rocks and paper. Tune in next time when I try to make these. <coughs> See ya.